Bloomies are forever. Hi everyone, I'm Melissa. I'm Bear. And happy holidays. Yay, I hope you brought cookies. <laughs> Bear loves holiday cookies. The other day we went to the bins, the Goodwill bins, for the first time in months. And today we will be showing you our holiday haul. Santa wasn't at the bins. No, Santa was. And it's not really a holiday haul. It's just a regular haul. But I was trying to holiday it up. Well, for me, it's not much of a haul at all because I don't think I found anything. You didn't. But one thing Bear was really good at when they brought new bins and they're on the wall is I could literally pick something and just like put my arm behind me. And within a second or so, less than a second, it was gone. You were collecting everything. So it's just like passing things on and he collected it for me. And that was a huge help. Oh, well, great. I'm glad <laughs> I could be of service. It does I didn't feel like I do too much of anything. But. Yeah, so the first few things are holiday-ish. And at least two are vintage. I found this little vintage angel. She has a wire cage under her dress. And she's a little bit of thread barren. Yes, she's sleepy apparently. Yeah, but she's adorable. And she won't sell for this holiday, but she was that cute. Look at her bosom. She's like bosom. very bosomy. Somebody really stuffed her. Well, and this go. was in two separate bins. Do you know what this is? A nutcracker? Uh, no. Well, I mean. A marching soldier? It is a, it is a conductor for a marching band. You see how he has oh. this, has this. Yes. Baton? Little thing. So, he, yeah. so I found his head in one of the bins and I took note of it in my head. And then a few bins later, I found that, and I went back and grabbed this one. I believe drum major is his technical name. Oh, he's a drum major. I think so. I don't know. Do you think these are his arms? Yes, he's, that's baton he's conducting with So his. he probably had a third part even. Maybe, yeah. yeah. You can see they're, they're made out of empty toilet rolls. They are. <laughs> mm -hmm. I liked him. He doesn't stand very well. And this guy is Santa Claus or Nicholas. I don't know which. Saint, Saint Nicholas. Saint Nicholas um, has a really nice face, navy blue, just I, well made. I wonder why he is not in the traditional red. I know, right? Mm -hmm. He's very sophisticated. His red was at the dry cleaner. Maybe he's a rebel. He's a rebel. He doesn't, he doesn't look red. like a rebel. <laughs> but I picked those up. Everything collectively was forty-two dollars, I think. Okay. 99% sure. $42. All right. Do you want to pull some stuff out of yours? Sure. Okay. Some hats. I just sold one of these, not this particular one, but a very similar one this morning. <laughs> Genuine raffia. Ooh, raffia. An extra large. Should I try it on? Try it on. Oh, you look great in that. It's really hard to find big head, big headed <laughs> hats. Big head for our big heads well, that, one's definitely that would one. even fit me but I've got a bun on yeah. I think this should bring about $15 $20 what is that one this is called Callahan Calla non Callanon Callanon this is one natural size natural fibers natural yeah I'll try this one I think this should be poked out a little bit this one doesn't fit as well but you still look darn cute well thanks Okay. And I think we should be able to get 15 to $20 for each of these. Really? Yeah. Oh, people are that into those kind of hats. Yep. Are those like sun hats? They are sun hats. Okay. And it helps that they're not made of paper. The paper ones um, sell retail for like 5 to $10 and don't last. But these are made of actual fibers and you can feel that. And mm -hmm. so they should last year after year. This one's got terry cloth inside. This one has just more of a, a natural fiber inside, but both are really nice hats. They're very nice. Not as nice as the hat that I have, but. Yeah, well yours is paper, but a good friend gave it to you. Yes, a good friend gave me his hat. Okay, let me pull something out. We didn't look this up just because of how fun this print is. This is Nils, N-I-L-S, ski wear. And these tend to go for about $30 to $40, depending on the print. This one's in pristine shape. It is a size 
mystery size. Is this, would you call this iridescent? I would call it iridescent. I don't know what size this is. I'm going to say it's a large. What do you think? Well, maybe, but it doesn't look very big to me, but... I'll have to find that out later, but it's got a zipper and then buttons up the front. That's so that air doesn't come through the zipper and make you cold. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look how fun that is. Very iridescent-y. Yes, it is. You nailed that word. Okay. And really good shape. Yes. I'm going to set that to the side. Another one of these bags. We've all seen these. I can lock these up and get about $2.00. So $10 for a lot of five, and I think we have a few of them. So I might be at that point where I can put some on, but they do pretty well. What is the branding on it? Is it? Any... Lululemon. Oh, okay. Yep. You want me to keep going? Yep. Okay. Next is a small coach bag. This is not going to bring, oh, too much. It has safety pins inside. Oh, okay. You can always use some safety pins. Sure. It'll probably bring maybe $5. I'll throw in the washing machine. Oh, that's what I was going to ask you. Can you put that in the washing machine? I'm going to. Okay. All right, I'll, get some, I'll grab something. Okay. I'll go to a purse, too. There's another coach purse. Another coach purse. This one is badly distressed. Yes. Um, are, those cra are those supposed to be there? Mm -hmm. or those, those are supposed, are supposed to, be. to be there. It's a very yellowed. And I've heard a trick for this with baking soda, so I'm really keen to try it. So this is sort of pleather. Would you call that pleather? Yeah, it's probably a pleather. Okay. It's a man-made, very sticky material, but inside it, it's beautiful. Like there's mm -hmm. no anything inside. What, what would this work for? This little, just to hold it with your hand? Obviously it's not a shoulder thing or it, this is, Put it, it seems, on there. it seems so short. Put it on there. Oh, okay. Well. Okay. No, really? Sure. Really? I mean, some people could do that, or you can just carry it like this. <laughs> okay. Or like this. Okay. Lots of different ways, but I'm, I'm going to try to brighten it back to its natural color. I'm excited about that one. Okay. We have a lot of bags. They had out a lot of clothing and a lot of bags, and not too much hard good wise, right? It's right, this is probably why day. I didn't find anything because I don't know anything yeah. about clothing. The next one I saw it in somebody's hands and then she put it back. Mm. It's Le Sport Sac. Le Sport Sac does really well just based on the number of pockets. They're known for pockets and pockets. Okay. So this is probably a diaper bag because of the washableness of it. Yes. It is black and white polka dot, so you could have kind of any theme and go with this. Almost even, it'd be cute as a Disney um, diaper bag, because Disney has that polka dot -y look sometimes. Are you ready for a, a story? Yes. Okay, well, when I was a kid in rural Pennsylvania, one of the things was hunting. Okay, okay yes. So, I wanted a hunting jacket that had a pocket the whole way across the back. Okay. And they were lined with this stuff, so when you put the stuff in it, you shoot, you can just put it and carry it in. Carry it in and your... that way the blood would be trapped inside. I didn't want to say that, but yes. Oh, but that's what it was. Yeah, that's what it was for. Yes. Very cool. This one looks to be in great condition, and I know these retail for about 50 bucks. so even if I could get $15 out of it, well worth it. Are we putting all these on here for some reason? Instead? Yeah, we'll just start piling stuff on, okay. on here for now. If it gets too much, it'll be too much. All right. Ooh, the Vera Bradley. Goodwill wanted $14.99 for this bag, which is why it wound up at the bins. I remember this print, but I'm not going to be able to recall it right now. It'll come to me, though. What, what does this retail for? Maybe $70 to $80. Okay. I don't... Uh, the Vera Bradley website has retired prints and all of the different types of bags this one opens nice and wide which is really nice so what was goodwill's reasoning for pricing that so high our goodwill does price things very high that they know okay. because they know resellers are at their store all the time yeah yeah but then they go to the bins and we yeah. get them and they I had a ton of air bradley some people picked them up and we weren't in that group descending on them 
So what what should that have been at Goodwill reasonably? I mean, just a reason. Maybe ten bucks. Oh, I was even thinking like five. But. Yeah, if they wanted to sell it. But our Goodwill yeah. never has have off sales, so okay, I'd give them ten. This is another Vera Bradley. This is an older style, older print, very classic, but it was in good shape. I liked the dark blues with the lighter blues. The tote, it would fit probably a smaller laptop. Yes. And Goodwill didn't have a price in this one. What did we, what would we have paid for these at, at the bins now, approximately each? Just approximately. This one probably is less than half a pound, so maybe 75 cents. Okay. Yeah. Well, we're glad Goodwill didn't sell it. I know. <laughs> That's the good thing about that. Yeah. This one is Spartina 449. I've never heard of this one, but it's well made. It has a lot of pockets. It's got some leather trim, real leather trim. This is a Vera Bradley as well? No, it's not. Oh, oh. It's, Spartina it's is the... Spartina. That's the company name. Yes. I thought that was like a model name. And I think this is a crossbody. I would say so. This goes really well with the color I'm wearing now. Yes, it does. <laughs> so again, even if I get $10 out of it, we, we didn't pay much. I'm falling down here. Do you want to go? Sure. This is a leather braided, is that what you call it? Sure. Braided, braided woven. belt? Woven belt. It's like hippie-ish. It is hippie-ish. Kind of a boho. <laughs> Bohemian. Okay. And I liked it for that reason. It's huh? very natural leather. Mm -hmm. And here is a... Um, wait, I know it's not... A, <laughs> I should know what this is. It's so easy. Because you ask me to get these all the time. Oh, I don't even want to. I don't even want to ask you what this is, because it's so easy. Anyways, fanny. Fanny pack. <laughs> it's a fanny pack, but it's leather, right? Yeah, it's real leather. It's a patchwork. It's vintage. Lots of pockets. It has like a cell phone pocket in the front, but our cell phones won't fit in them anymore because cell phones became bigger. Mm. So the the way the kids are wearing these this day and okay. age are kind of like this okay so this you have everything here okay so it fits like that oh, i'm hitting my microphone so it fits like that it's oh. patchwork it's cool we're what, good to go when you say the kids you mean like high school kids wear those yeah. like that okay high school college kids all right and it's called tinder <laughs> that's huh. the brand name Should, what do you, should we take this all out? It's up to you. Okay, How so, would you like to do it? Well, I don't want to be too noisy. Okay, well, do, just take out this one then. Well, I meant... Okay, there we go. Okay, so the first thing is a bag of brand new thank you cards. And um, there's a lot of them with my colors. Oh, yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. They're all so nice. Brand new packs. And this one's sparkly. Yeah. Some of them are are truly brand new. But I use thank you cards a lot. So we took them. We have a lot of people to thank. Yes. What did you find? Nothing. These are all you found. I didn't What did you any. pull out of that pile? Oh. They're a little bunny. Yes. He's meant to be a candle votive holder. Some deodorant. Deodorant. I will absolutely use this. I'm going to wipe off the top layer and I will be thrilled to be using this. Some sunscreen. sunscreen. This is one of the things I told you in the car on the way to the bins where I was like, what, what do we hope to find? And I said, sunscreen, as long as it's within this expires 2022. And this will be perfect. Okay. That is some sort of copper little jars or whatever, I guess. Moscow mugs, I think they're called. Do they? Do people drink like shots or something out of this? Or? Usually the big ones are regular sized mug, maybe a little bit oversized mug. Okay. And they're made for like warm, hearty drinks with some liquor sometimes. I don't know what these little ones are. But they were just so stinking cute, and there's eight of them, and I could picture just like a little succulus, like a little plant. 
Okay. Lining a table, just like they're just adorable, and somebody needs to buy them. They're not marked. You don't know what these are really for. No, I have no idea. Okay. Ha! Right. Huh, seashells. These are package toppers. They're seashells with a hole through them, and then they have the cording, so I can, I can attach them to packages. And these are just uh, some vintage Love salt these. and pepper shakers. Can you, can we put these in like bleach and? clean some probably mm -hmm. not bleach that might eat away the um plastic plastic but i would do vinegar okay do we have vinegar i know that was on the shopping list i can't <laughs> remember if we bought it or not i don't though. i don't remember either okay well either way we'll try vinegar and they have the salt and pepper and the font um that's like old school i loved these uh this is just a tassel for like a purse or something yep i pulled it off of a jessica simpson purse that was destroyed tassel oh we have more salt and pepper shakers i know they're bookends yeah aren't they stinking adorable yes they are you have to show the people well there you are now this one has the cork the other one the cork is floating in there so one day when i'm bored i'll get some tweezers and see if i can pull the cork out um they're also made in japan which is why i grabbed them this is a bunch of words i'm not sure what this is <laughs> these are magnetic words these were cool in the 90s you can make poems or sentences on your refrigerator hmm. and i think if they don't sell and i have sold these before for about ten dollars i might send them to my niece and there was one here we go fortune and the oh. whole thing do you want to read the fortune fortune is even the greatest of whales is helpless in the middle of a desert that is very true i thought that was a good fortune sure so maybe they were trying to recreate fortunes on their refrigerator there's a ton of words and the last thing in that box do you want to describe what this is a tassel? Is that what it is? Yeah, it's for your hat. Oh, okay. <laughs> Bear wears a hat, kind of think like this kind of thing, but more stylish that one of his friends gave him. Yeah. And he asked me if we had any kind of ribbon to go around the brim of the hat for the holidays, and I didn't. I had a ton of ribbon, but none like that screamed holiday. So I ripped off the length. It's a fedora. It's, it's a, a fedora. fedora. Yeah. So this will be perfect for it. It will be. It'll be fun. Holiday haul. Okay, some of the clothing. These are probably going to be for me. They are Old Navy, extra large, terry cloth shorts. I sleep in shorts and boxers. And they're already halfway being destroyed, so <laughs> perfect. Next, this is brand new with tags. It is Maeve, which is an anthropology brand. It's a size 10 green dress. You said Maeve? Yes. That's the style? Of that's the brand. Oh. Anthropology has, that's a store, Anthropology. We've yes, been in there. Yes, I know Anthropology, but you're saying this is a division of Anthropology? Yes. Okay. Maeve makes clothing just for Anthropology. So Anthropology, think of it as like a Walmart where they sell a whole bunch of different brands. Jordash, Danskin. Maeve is sold only at Anthropology. Okay. So it's brand new with tags. It will need uh, a good steaming, but I know somebody who steams mm -hmm. clothing and it's a size 10. Great for the holidays. I'll miss that, uh, unfortunately, but also great. Green's just a great color. Could be for St. Patrick's Day. St. Patrick's Day, sure. I am so glad we got this. I did not look this up. We looked up some stuff, but we just had a lot of stuff, honestly. Star Wars on the bays or bias on the bias size small. So this was an on the bias shirt and it just looks like a floral shirt. But then you look close and there's like Boba Fett hanging out from. Is that who this is? Let's pretend this is Boba Fett. I don't know who I don't know who that is. I don't know. But there's Star, Star Wars characters popping out from tropical and, and romantic That's quite an flowers. odd uh, combination. Yeah, right? and these seem to be going for about 35 to $50. Hmm. So this was, was a good one. It needs washed, 
but good find. Next, Fabletics. Fabletics is an online subscription box where okay. you get an outfit every month. Oh. And I think it's Kate Hudson who puts those together. So okay. this will bring, I only paid maybe 75 cents for it. This should bring about five, ten dollars Kate Hudson is the actress? Mm-hmm. Okay. She puts together her own fitness okay. subscription box or right. has somebody else do it to her, but her name is attached. Mm -hmm. This is a size small and it has mesh across the back. And of course, if you're interested in anything, feel free to let us know. This is itchy. Feel this. Yeah, I don't like this. Ugh, can't breathe. It is Vintage Laura Ashley Lamb's Wool Angora Nylon Size Medium. It is a cropped sweater, so it's more reminiscent of like a 40s, 50s style. Very romantic looking, very soft colors. I didn't see any holes anytime I find this kind of wool or any fabric really that could be prone to holes. I look it up to the light and I didn't see any flaws with this. So this might do rather well. I love the concept of it, but the material, I can't breathe. And what are those rags that we have you're supposed to use on the TV? We don't microfiber. Want... Microfiber. Oh, that's out yeah. too. For some reason, you're only supposed to use those, a microfiber rag on your Electronics. High, def high definition TVs. Mm -hmm. So we have them for that. And I used them yesterday when I was cleaning, but we don't like them. Oh, I hate those. So weird. Don't do that anymore. <laughs> Pull some more clothing out. Okay. Okay. I guess we should stop there. All right. The next item is for my sister. Oh. Wow. That's that's something. That's a heartfelt gift because you would certainly keep that. I would. <laughs> Um, the Pacific Company size small. I'd probably need a medium, but I didn't try it on. It has Anna Maria Island oh. Beach House on it. Awesome. So I know she'll love this. I'll yes. check with her before I send it to her just because I don't want to add more clutter to her life. <laughs> Seriously, she's been trying to declutter, but I think she'll love it. Plus it's cotton. Yeah, it's very nice. The next two pieces are for our neighbor boy, Jason. Hi, Jason. I know you watch us and you're <laughs> so sweet. He likes costumes and he's always walking around in some kind of costume, I would say. Yes. Right? Quite frequently. So we look for costumes for him. This is a Pirates of the Caribbean. It's a little bit small, but he's a little bit on the smaller side. It is a jacket. Yes. With a giant belt. With giant buckles. There's a couple different buckles. He'll have to figure out how to buckle them. There's like three buckles. Okay. So that, All right. and there's a second piece somewhere. Oh, here it is. Oh, this goes with the... I'm not sure it goes oh. with it. We'll let him decide. Okay. It's also kind of a jacket. It doesn't have any um, brand names on it, but the buttons are really heavy. Yes. For mm -hmm. how not great made this is, mm -hmm. the buttons are really heavy. So. It kind of looks like a pirate or some kind it does of look kind of piratey. Old colonial, I don't know. Yes, that would work as well. Okay, next item I found is a vintage Saks Fifth Avenue nightgown. No. And it's a pale blush pink with ivory lace. And it's a nice long one. This looks like the kind of thing that all of the ghosts wear in spooky movies. Yes. <laughs> still um, has a following. Like people still buy this kind of thing and they're hard to find in stores sometimes. So they look to eBay. They don't, they don't make them anymore? Really? They, yeah, they oh. really don't make, uh, a lot of companies don't make them anymore. So all of the spooky ghosts go to the <laughs> Exactly. Next, Columbia. I bought these because there was two of them, same style, same size, same everything, except the color variation. They are a woman's 14 petite. I'm gonna hold up the first one. Sure. And here's the second one, woman's 14 petite. So this one's like kind of a dusty olive and that one's more of a light brown. Yes. But very similar mm -hmm. every other way. Back to purses. Brand new. 
OMG Accessories. Now I'm guessing this isn't a very high-end brand, but I thought it was kind of cute. It is, it's like a uh, leopard or... Leopard, cheetah, I cheetah. never know the difference. You could fit, fit your cell phone in there. It's got a zippered pocket. And a shiny heart. Shiny little heart tassels. Next is 31. We used to have a 31 bag somebody gave us. Oh yeah? And we used that until we tore it into the ground. Is that a thing? Oh, <laughs> until we tore until we ran it into the ground. Ran it into the ground. Yes. Um, this one's a lot more sophisticated. It's blue and white stripes with what feels like real leather. Yes, it does. Could it be? Maybe it's not real. Maybe it's just a really good faux leather. It's a crossbody or a shoulder bag and has that wipe out material, I would say, and then some pockets, but cute just cute all over bag. Okay, I have to, you brought me to my first musical reference. Oh yes, please. You know, the band that did the song Wipeout? First of all, do you know this? You don't, wipe so, out, wipe yes. Out. And what, it, what is wipe out essentially though? Um, when you're surfing and you wipe out. <laughs> well, yes, that's true. But what is this, what, what the song, the Wipeout song, what is that traditionally known as? What, if, if, you ask somebody, if you ask a band to play Wipeout, what does that mean? Do you know what that means? You wiped out. No. I have no idea. That, that's, that's like when you're growing up learning how to play drums. Oh. That's the first thing you want to learn how to play. Like, oh, can you play Wipeout? Because it's... Why? Because it's a, that's, that's what the whole song is. It's a drum solo. I mean, it's... But the middle of it is always that... Got it. Don't do too much more of that for copyright reasons, unfortunately. Oh, <laughs> like, oh he's playing Wipeout. But yeah. But yes, so, and when I go to the jam, sometimes they have these silly contests like musical chairs or hula hoop contests or whatever. And when they're asking the people to perform, that's what they play. They, like that. Because it's an instrumental and, you know, yeah. yeah. That's very fun. It's very fun. But the drummer that I may have mentioned one time is so unbelievably good that oh, it's almost really embarrassing good. that he plays my pot. You want to put those over on the couch? I would be we'll happy to. Do another pile. Okay. Okay, Bear. Did you pick this one out or you just commented on it? I'm not sure. I remember you commenting on it okay. at least. It's J. Crew. It is a newer J. Crew and it comes with the locks so this was on the um, front of this and you push it out and the keys are here okay and there's an actual little baby lock oh, right fine. there that somebody could use yeah. so this must have retailed for probably 70 80 dollars i'm gonna say so i wouldn't be surprised if we got 40 dollars for it is the tag in it from goodwill still yeah, and Goodwill wanted $20. Yeah, see Goodwill, come on. $20, Goodwill. Our Goodwill have people looking up every single item we've been told, so they're pricing things fairly aggressively. Next, just a pink little thing. You could put business cards or pictures. Well, that almost goes with the thing we just had. I don't think it was in there, but yes. Next, uh, last piece of clothing possibly. This just felt amazing. It is PGA Authentic Extra Large, 100% cotton. It's nice. Feel this material. <laughs> it is nice. It is such a smooth, nice cotton. But it, this is not, It looks new. This is not totally cotton, is it? It's 100% cotton. Really? Yeah. But what what did they do to me? I don't I don't really like the feel of this. Really? I mean, it's you can tell it's very good, quote yeah, unquote. Yeah, it's like a refined But I wouldn't want to wear this. What why why what did they do to make this cotton feel know. so weird? It feels like it feels like nylon a little bit or something, like rayon yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah, it feels something. Yeah. I don't know. I'm guessing it's just the type of cotton is a better type than you're used to. It would also feel like it would cause a lot of static when you took it off. Okay. I could see that. But that was an extra large. The next is Tory Burch Dust Ruffle. I currently have a pair of Tory Burch sandals for sale, so I thought I would add this to the sandals when they sell. Just as a freebie. Tory Burch is a designer, mm -hmm. and she makes what? 
Well, it, shoes, oh. um, purses, clothing, accessories, probably okay. luggage. Now, she has always been like a designer. She, like Kate Hudson's an actress. No, yes. She's, but has Tori Burch always been a designer? I think she's always been a designer. That's a good question. Okay. This should have gotten put back. I found sheets that looked like this. Do you remember? No. It's okay if you don't. I don't. And I was like, should I get these? Should I not get these? And I couldn't find a label. And I forgot I put them back. And then when we were in line, I saw this out of the corner of my eye in another bin. And I was like, oh, there's a pillowcase. And I got so excited because I thought I had the sheets in my cart. But I had put the sheets back. So now I just have a pillowcase. <laughs> so you're saying you wish you would have put this back or you wish you would have kept the sheets so you have them with this? What? Either one. Oh, okay. That's a pillow sham, right? It is. Yeah. It's a European sham. I, I guess I wish I would have put this back knowing and that I wouldn't have had to deal with any of it because I don't think it would have sold quickly. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. I might just re-donate it. I don't know. Okay. And then we have oh. these. That's very that's Moroccan to me. Really? Yeah. Okay. Is this something you see in Morocco? Have you ever I'm, been to Morocco? <laughs> no, I've not been to Morocco. These are like a plastic, reusable. Everybody's mom had these. Did your mom have something like this growing up? No, we always had tablecloths in my house. Oh, you had tablecloths. Yeah. Uh, well, we had tablecloths too, but then we would have this as well. Oh, no. It's all it's tablecloth. Okay. So, they're pretty. They're very pretty. I don't know why I picked these up. Hmm. But... In fact, though, tablecloths were an essential item at our house. Really? Yeah. like you Every meal you had a tablecloth. Never ate without a tablecloth. Never. Huh. Even, like, when I got older and didn't always eat meals, mom and dad would fold the tablecloth in half. Okay. But, I mean, they always had a tablecloth. You never ate without a tablecloth. Huh. No we were raised in the country. That's kind of an odd uh, country thing, right? It, it, well, everybody I knew had used a tablecloth. Oh, okay. So maybe it is a country thing. Maybe it is a country thing. Okay. Or were you thinking perhaps it was a more high class thing? Yeah, I thought. <laughs> but it was just like, it wasn't fancy tablecloths. Yeah, it was it just was, like cotton. Yes. Huh. Huh? Do you have anything else in yours? Pull yes. everything else out. Okay. Oh, we did pretty well for $42. Wow, I forgot about all this. Okay, next is a Scott McClintock dress. It is very, I would say, 90s. Very 90s, right? Yes, I would say did so. Did you ever date girls in this kind of thing? No, you're the only one. <laughs> <laughs> I wore stuff like this in the 90s. That was a good answer, though, right? That was very good. You're definitely the best. Thanks. That's true. <laughs> Then we have here, you hold this side up. Okay. We have this. It's leather. It's vintage. It's very well made. Does it smell? No, I mean, it smells like just the material. It doesn't smell bad or anything. I was going to try to open it up and show the lining. There we go. Or, but we're going to be here forever. What? Oh, it's just the... The buttons. lining's the coolest I, I didn't know. I didn't realize what you were thinking so hard to get out. The buttons. buttons. Okay, here we go. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Isn't it cool? There's like unicorns and giants and I don't know if these are storybooks in here. I don't know what the print is of, but this is B-A-N-J-A-R-A, -A -A, Outdoor Leather Wear. Oh. I just thought the print was so cool on the inside. Yes. Now, is this a unisex jacket? Because the front oh, it's a of, 34. The front of it has... Flowers. Yeah. But only down one side. Okay. The other side only has like a couple flowers. All right. Like one, two yeah. flowers, and then that's it. I don't know. I'm going to have to try this on and try to get an idea of the sizing. Not now, though. Okay. Then we have some more purses. This one is a fossil. <laughs> Well, I was going to say, it's not that old, but yes. Huh. Keeper. That's mm. what it says inside. Just okay. for you, to keep your keys. 
I don't know. No. I bought this one. I currently have a about same size coach purse and it came from ThreadUp and a dog got to the um, tag. Not tag, what is this called? Uh, that would be the strap. The strap. So I bought this one and I'm gonna pair them up because the strap comes off of this one so you could either wear it with this or with the one, the so leather So you're gonna one. keep the strap for yourself, you're saying? No, I'm gonna oh. take the bag that is missing the strap, okay. pair these up. Okay. And the strap could go back and forth between the bags. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah. What, what is this for? This is a Bath and Body Works where you put your hair, hand sanitizer. Oh, okay. I'll take that off. But there you go, Coach. All right. Another Vera Bradley, very nice condition. I don't know the style of this one either. Can those be put in the washer? Sure can. As long as the cardboard in the bottom comes out. And here's the cardboard on the bottom. Okay. This also has a coach thing in it. Well, can you put that with that? I will. Or put it somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, nice. It also has the sack, which I don't think we've gotten any of the sacks, but there's that. Is this a Vera Bradley thing? Uh, the sack is sack roots or just the sack. So it's like another company. So another company makes a handbag? Yes, called okay. the sack. Okay, so it's not a Vera Bradley thing. Correct. It just happened to be in there. Yeah. Okay. They were like collecting things. Okay. Ralph Lauren, Ralph Lauren, denim, hobo kind of-esque shoulder bag. This reminds me of what the sack looks like because usually they're knitted, but oh. this one is Lina, L-I-N-A, red and navy or black? I'm going to say black. Black? Yeah. Okay. Next one is another Vera Bradley. And the thrift shop didn't want anything for this one. There's no thrift shop tag. So this might have just come to the bins. I liked the color, plus the plaid gave it a little bit of extra. How could stuff go straight to the bins? I think it can. I've heard of other people saying things go straight to the bins. I don't know how. Well, you can donate right to the bins, too. Yeah, I don't know if they keep it in-house or has to go on a truck somewhere to get processed. I don't know how that happens. Okay. Somebody could let us know. Goodwill wanted seventy seven ninety nine for this one. It didn't sell. This one's a fairly simple bag. There's not too many pockets on the outside. There's not any. But there's birds on the inside. There are birds on the inside, yes. Cute. Mm -hmm. Summer swimsuit bag, store wet or dry items. This might go to somebody on Patreon. Um, just a really nice mm -hmm. little bag. We might keep it for the summer. Another Vera Bradley. Oh, look. This one has a turtle charm. Huh. I didn't see that. That came with that, right? Yeah, so cute. It's not marked. It's a really cute turtle, though. Um, Vera Bradley. This is on the go. That's the style name of this one. And these usually go for about 15, 20 bucks. All right. And our last bin item went back and forth, but I'm glad I got it. I found a date on it finally, which was 1992. So vintage items usually do okay. Not for me necessarily. <laughs> so I don't know about this one, but it's a black and white kind of a sketch picture of San Francisco and all the things that go along with that. It does have some discoloration. I'll throw it in the wash and see if I can get it out. If not, sell it as is. We were in San Francisco. We were. Did we have a good time? We did. We rode the car, the, the car. There. The trolley thing. The trolley car, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like that we went places. Yes, I do too. Last night we went around our neighborhood and saw some Christmas lights. That was yes. fun, too. It was fun. Mm -hmm. I had a good time with you. <laughs> I just have a good time with you. Mm. Okay. And just because I got it yesterday, I got a thread up box. And here were some of the items inside. It was a 10-piece fun box. And these were the items that were not jewelry. So I pulled the jewelry out. I've been listing jewelry. I've been loving listing jewelry um, for days now. So these, I thought, if you are interested in them, feel free to let me know. These are Chinese laundry sweater tights. So they're a thicker tight and they're a size medium, large in black. 
We should also remind anybody that wants anything, try to be as specific as you can because yes. she's, you know, if our, even if you say it was with the time stamp. When that it was, would be helpful. That would be very helpful. Like, oh, it was, it, whatever. Yeah, with those big thread up ones, I had people telling me like, oh, the t-shirt the in size 2X and I have like 4,000 items. Yeah, like, so be as sorry, specific as know. you can. Yeah, but this should be easy. This is a Wii Motion Plus connects to your Wii remote. Mm -hmm. We used us, and when we before you got sick, when we were managers, we used to play. We oh, it's with, just this. With the residents, yes, it's just the whole. It's the haze. That's so weird that they sent it in a fun box because I wouldn't really mm. consider that like an, an accessory, a jewelry item, a scarf. So funny. Next is this hat. Let's see if there's any paper metallic polyester. Well, you know, Sun I have to hat. try that one on. Try as well. it on. Come on, man. I think it's going to be too tiny. <laughs> <laughs> Does it fit? No, it doesn't really fit. Plus, it's like you can't... It's floppy. Oh. Yeah. You look like you have hair. <laughs> you look cute. Next, remember my mom wanted one of these for Christmas one year, and my sister bought it for her, and it was pricey. I don't know what this is yet. This is a cell phone... Um, like necklace, you put oh, the okay. leather yes, around yes, yes, and your yes. phone fits in here. Yes. It's the bandolier. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what size it is, is the only issue. I don't know if these are one size. There's a snap, I'm guessing for your credit cards or something. And you put your phone in there, ready, it doesn't use our phone. So it doesn't use, I think it's for an Apple. Okay. And then you put it around and then your phone's always on you. You could take if pictures. You had, if you had like those eyeglasses with the chain on, your outfit would be complete. <laughs> you have everything on chain. Mm, sure. Yeah. But I think my mom said these were about $100 new. Wow. So if I can figure out which brand this goes to, maybe make $15, $20. I don't know. So those had to be pretty popular one time to get to that price level. I think they're still popular. So who who is using these? People that, well, there's a whole bunch of different people. People that okay. are traveling, people that want their but for the, phone. But for the most part, it's a certain age group of people. I don't think so. Oh, no? No, I think okay. people that, yeah, I think anybody could so use like it. So, like, you could see teenagers wearing that. Oh, for sure. Okay. Yeah. And the last thing we got in that fun box are Ray-Bans. Oh, very nice. Which are very nice. Yeah. <laughs> They're handmade in Italy. Okay. I paid $24 for this entire box, and it also included, like, five pieces of jewelry. All right. What do you think? <laughs> I never look good in glasses. No, it's they're just, uh, they're very 50-ish with the style. You try them on. I like them on you. <laughs> they're, they're women's glasses, though, aren't they? I have no mm -hmm. idea. And they came with... Um, and they don't have scratches. They don't seem no, to have no, scratches. They came with both things, so I don't know why thread up couldn't see, sell no, these. If you could have these and you could be the quintessential, you know, like take your glasses off, let your hair down. And, yeah. yeah, yeah. Except I'd need my prescription glasses or I couldn't see. Now you've just ruined that whole scenario there. Sorry about that. Okay. Girls gotta see. <laughs> we are going to take a small break, wipe the table, and go get our P.O. box unboxings. The next thing we are going to open because it was delivered today is a thread up box. And I'm pretty sure this is my last scarf box from them. So 24 scarves are $24 shipped. And that free shipping is with code rescue. Let's see if that's what this is. Yes, 24 scarves. So we'll take some piles out. Okay, should we just grab a scarf and try to describe it? Sure, this looks like a Christmassy scarf to me because it has snowflakes on and it's heavy so it would be warm. Oh, it's a infinity scarf. It is an infinity <laughs> scarf. Is this fleece on the inside? It isn't, it's like a sweater knit. Mm -hmm. And double sided though. Any tags? I don't see any tags. Yeah, looks like the person ripped out the tag, so unbranded. Next one. This one's interesting. Another infinity, another double-sided. One has birds. It's 
It's kind of like a mid-century print. Mm -hmm. And the other side has aqua. And I'm going to say this is cotton. It's a very skinny. And I would think it'd be handmade. Like okay. a boutique or something. All right. Okay, the... Oh, this is all one. I thought it was two. It's just a faded into a color. So this is a knit infinity scarf. Infinity scarf. And we have a tag on it that says so. S-O. And it's 92% acrylic and 8% polyester. Good. All right. And one side's pink and one side's black and then it fades between the two. Fade to black. Yeah. That's a metallic song. a little bit song. of a metallic thread. Whoa, a metallic song with metallic <laughs> thread. This is Anthony Originals. Very sheer scarf, very small. I would say this would be a neck scarf or like a hair tie scarf where you would just like do one of those. Okay. In floral, sheer. Whoa. This is if you're a mermaid and seaweed got stuck on you. Yeah. Whoa, so cool. I wonder if somebody knit this. This would take forever to knit this. Are there any tags on it? I don't see any. It's very delicate. Yes. Very cool. It's very stretchy. Sorry, I took over there. No, that's <laughs> fine. Fine, you're right in. Next we have a rectangular scarf, sheer, with tassels in just the corners. Oh, and here it is, Van Heusen, polyester. This looks like it came from Mesopotamia. 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 <laughs> I love how you say Mesopotamia. Mesopotamia. Yeah. Is that right? Mesopotamia. Mesopotamia. I think. I don't know. I think it's Mesopotamia. Okay. <laughs> okay, here's another scarf. This one's different from every other scarf I've seen. It is. It's different material, too. It's oh, it's a weird material. Yes, I don't see it. It's any. like a felted wool. Okay. You have to hold it up. Oh, sorry. I was looking for a tag. Oh. I don't see any tags. Yeah, a felted wool. Mm -hmm. No tags. Let's do this one. This one has a tag. Olsen Boy Polyester. So that's like a, um, a lower end... This one's a huge. Giant scarf. Olive green, fuchsia pink, black and white. Fringe on all four sides. Now this looks like a traditional a scarf of what I'm used to. Yes. This one has the cashmere feel, but it's acrylic. By the way, I had a scarf once to match my I had a wood I had a wool uh, gray winter jacket and then a gray and white scarf to match. Oh, very stylish. Uh -huh. So this is black and white houndstooth, but it does feel less like acrylic than usual. So that's nice. It, it's not going to make me, right? It, it's okay feeling. It's okay feeling. Okay. Yeah. This one feels like a sweater. It says love. Yeah, we love love. Love. And then flip it around and it's the reverse. Love. It should say hate on the other side. It should say no, we like that it says love. <laughs> well, just because it's opposite, that's all I okay. meant. Okay, you go. This one's got snaps. Yeah, what kind of... Oh, it's a weird material. It's like a legging material. I've never seen a scarf with snaps on it. I wonder if this snaps into an infinity yes. scarf, right? Yes. Who's making this? This is a really nice, I'm going to say this is like a Lululemon scarf or something. Okay. Do you see any kind of labels or like insignia? I do not. Oh, we got something back here. Lululemon. Nice, Darla. It's a Lululemon scarf. Oh, it's a reversible one as well. Gray and pink. And then you can flip it over. Just gray. Mm -hmm. Nice. This one feels nice. What, what do you think that is? Like a cotton maybe? Well, yeah, I don't like to feel that either. But really? Yeah. Oh, that one doesn't bother me. Look at you just going for it. We're doing every other and my sweetie's just like, boop. Pink 
and gray. I don't see any labels, do you? I do not. We'll do this one next. Okay. What color are you going to call this? I am going to call that a deep maroon. Oh, very nice. I'm going to go for cranberry. Okay, here's a tag though. Yeah. Fine shawl. 100% viscose. What is that? It's a material made in India. So what is viscose? Do we know? Mm, I think it's natural material, not positive. Yeah, you're, you're not telling me anything. Yeah, I don't really know anything. Okay. This one is Funky Monkey. Traditional colors, reds, hunters, navies, infinity scarf. I didn't. Re I guess scarves are a big thing. People wear scarves are a big thing. Lots of people Just wear scarves. Just not in Florida, I guess. Yeah, definitely not. Maurice's rayon. It's a tiny little ditzy, ditzy floral. That's usually what they call that. I never remember people wearing a lot of scarves, even in Pennsylvania. Really? Yeah. I had a whole scarf collection in Pennsylvania. Okay. Okay. Next, we'll do this one. All right. It's very tropical. Yes, it is. Oh, it's an infinity scarf, but long. It has tassels. It has it's odd tag. tassels. Well, no, no, it's a tassel. Right? The tassels are all like yes. embroidered seem... or something. And this, the colors don't really match. It doesn't seem. Yeah. This one is Apartment 9, which I think is Sears. Oh. This would be pretty just to tuck in your bathing suit as like a sarong. I don't know what a sarong is. Like a tube of fabric that goes around you and gives you a cover up. Okay. How's that? Mm -hmm. Kind of a corally orange here, sheer, crinkle, no tags. Whoa! This one has some sort of washers on it. <laughs> it's not washers. Yes, it is. It's washers. It does look like washers. It is a crochet or a knit with metal circles, true metal circles. The, you have if, a, a tag here? Uh, I don't think No tag. But yes, that's the noise it makes. So if we need a washer, we know where to get it. Yeah. Or if you, weapon. No weapon, yeah. This one looks like popcorn. Yeah. But it's soft. It is soft. Right? Yeah. Soft and bouncy. Oh, here's the thing. J. Jill. This one is viscose. There you go. Which we don't know what that is. Look at that bounce though. It's so fun. It's very soft. I don't want to touch that one. Okay. Purple, solid purple. Rectangle with some fringe at either end. I don't see any tags. Another kind of blanket scarf here. Yeah. Oh, it's pretty big. Yes, it, it is. does have a label. It is acrylic, hand wash only. Well, this is a blanket, right? Holy this cow, is... this is huge. No, well, it could be a blanket scarf. That's the thing. It feels like a blanket you get in an airplane. Yeah. Okay. I hate the feel of that. Black with some studs. Oh, is that it? I believe so. This is like a tablecloth runner. No, it's got to be dappled, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Here we go. That's that. Last one, the Lululemon more than made up for every single other scarf, but all nice scarves. Some stretch to it. What color would you call that? Pink? No. Orchid? Hmm. There's a word I'm trying to think of, but when I was in Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat show, mm -hmm. musical, I had to say a color because that was in one of the lyrics, and that's what it's reminding me of, but I can't remember the word. Petunia? No. No. Russet. 
Yeah, that's totally not russet. What's russet? It's like a red orange. Okay. Potato y color. Red orange potato y. <laughs> Isn't russet a kind of potato? It's in red yeah. orange kind of color. Okay. So are we done now? No, we have to open up our well, care Well, I know, packages, but I'm saying but yes. we're done with the yes. all of the scarves. So, yep. so now we're open up. These are packages that you have sent to us. Thank you. Thank you. It's very nice. Of you. Let's stop this okay. and right and okay. go one last time. Let's open the card first. This okay. comes to us from Arizona. Paul and Cheryl. Hi, Paul and Cheryl. Somebody said they were sending out a Christmas card, so I'm wondering if this is what this is. Perhaps. Oh, it's a cactus. A shiny one. It's a Christmas cactus. I love watching your unboxing videos, Bear, so funny. Yeah. I agree. <laughs> I have learned a lot from the shipping ones to love Cheryl. To Bear and Melissa, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Happy Holidays. Thank you so much. We have been collecting our Christmas cards right over there, and we will put yours in with the rest of ours. So thank you, Paul and Cheryl. Yes, very fun. Um, this is from Tammy, and Tammy is in California. Do you want to take a... Yes, I would be happy to take <laughs> over that. I'm still so itchy from the scarves. Do it, do it. Good heavens. Okay. Look how pretty it looks. It's the from the Dandelion, Dandelion shop. shop. She has her own custom stickers. Oh my goodness. Yikes. Oh, I'm appreciating the color combinations. How fun. Okay. We'll just pull things out at random, I think. Okay. That would work for my hat as well. I love this. <laughs> it's ribbon. It's an aqua and gold. We have some thank you stickers. And she is a really good packager, clearly. A little bag that says life is good. A little paper bag. Oh, oh. Oh, those are package toppers. Tags, top. yes. yeah, package toppers, but they're all different prints. Oh, she Very probably fun. cut those for me. Thank you so much. And then we have some handmade, all handmade hearts, uh, like thank you cards with envelopes. Thank you. Yes. Oh, fun. there's more in here. Oh, life is good. In the oh. aqua color, there's a little thing of tape. Wow, another little bag. Oh, <gasps> washi tape! Oh, cool. Some of it says thank you. There's hearts, there's a tape measure. That's so funny. Florals, arrows, waves. Thank you so much. I could use that for my hat too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay, we, next one. Let's we read the card. Yes, this one says Melissa. Okay. Wow. Oh wow. wow. Should I read it aloud? Oh, uh, it's pretty long. Well, okay. But okay. You can just. She watches my YouTube videos yeah, you and can it, highlight it. Yeah, watches um, me rap, and she loves those. I put such care into things and I have a positive attitude. Thank you. I thought she can use all of these as package toppers. Yes, I absolutely can, Tammy. Thank you. This is for you to read privately. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing part of your life with me and I appreciate that and I acknowledge that and we'll keep that between you and I, so thank you. Thank you for the card. And the insane amount of other items yes, that are professionally great. wrapped. Yes. I don't want to ruin anything. Oh, look how cute. Do you have scissors? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanks. And if you're hearing things outside, I'm sure you're not over the tearing. Um, it's raining. It's a good day rain to rain here. <laughs> 
I believe our hearts are never alone and love always wins. That's very nice. Beautiful. It says it's handcrafted. Look at that piece of wood. Yeah. Very nice. Thank mm -hmm. you. Oh my goodness, there's so much in I here. I know, good grief. We have some books. Notebooks. I go through notebooks fairly often. I write down sales. I These write down my inside? receipts. Yeah, they're all lined notebooks. Oh, cool. If you need a lined notebook. Well, I don't think I do, but they're very cool. Yeah, thank you. I'd be surprised with how many notebooks I go through. Some tissue paper and ribbon to match and a little bit of a painted. These are so cute. Look how cute that will be. That will definitely go in my hat. <laughs> Then we have some green curling ribbon, like a really light green. Oh my goodness. This is the never ending box. I'll pick that up a second. Fashion pens, three ballpoint pens in fashion colors. So fun. I think I dropped one of these. Do you want to see what these are? Okay. They're magnets. magnets work hard play hard this one says you won't be able to see it but there's glitter inside a dome you don't have to open them all up sweetie i'm going to use them as package toppers Sorry. it's okay okay this one says girl boss and this one says girl boss mm -hmm. this will be fun okay. we have some metallic twine and some more glitter washi guess where that glitter washi can work on your hat on my hat Oh, I've never seen these poly mailers. Oh my goodness, look at all of them. Mm. Okay, so we have fox, pineapple, succulent, cactus, some coral, and avocados. That's so funny. This looks like the bags that we get at Marshalls once in a while. Yes. They have this kind of print on it. Yeah, but I've, I've not seen a lot of those. Next one. Oh my goodness, we have so much more. These look like cards. Thank you, cards. I wonder if she made all of these. Thank you. And she used the tool. You want to? Yeah, go ahead and snip that as much as I hate to. Okay, so envelopes. The flamingos. Yeah, you flip through some of them on. Okay. These are all handmade cards. Thank you so much. I'll say those are very fun. Oh yeah, look at the flamingo ones. Yeah, I should just. I know, but I didn't get to okay. see it. <laughs> okay, you want to snip again? Okay. I can't believe you fit so much in this box. I know. Ooh. More, oh, notebooks. more notebooks. This one has um, bikes. This is called the Spiral Fat Book. And there's another one. Ha, oh, large magnets. Save the drama for your llama. Free hugs. Mm. <laughs> Love that. Oh, take me to the palm. That's huh? so funny. And a journal. I love how everything's kind of like summer themed. I'm picking that up. Yes. We then have a the system for carrying your stuff. It's a recycled bag to hold any of your things. Well, wow, that's really nice. I might use this for washi tape with all the shoes on it. Cause I have a lot of washi tape and right now they're just like amongst everything else. And the last part in here, this is crazy. Thank you so much. This is like Christmas for me. Be sweet, mm. pineapple sticky notes. There's three of them in there. Pineapple journals. Take charge. Oh, it's a magnetic notepad. ASAP. More pads. Take note. And some more pads. Thank you. Wow, awesome. Thank you, thank you. Uh, so I am much stuff. overwhelmed by your blessing of sending us all of this stuff. Yes. Everything will get used, um, whether by me or used as package toppers so we can um give away some of the joy thank you so much 
and I will be writing you back. I write everybody back, but incredible. I'm just going through it again, being amazed by your generosity. Throw that out. Also, her packing skills. I, right? Because <laughs> it's overflowing now that we're trying to think about I know how, and there's still so much yeah. more. It's incredible. I'm glad we don't have to put it back the way she had it. In. I know. We'd be here for ages. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Thank you. And you're going to make so many people happy. Yes. Starting with us. Yes. Okay. You ready to call it a day? I believe so. Do we have anything else to say? No. And our battery light is red and blinking. All right. Well, then let's do it. One, two. Wait. We should do Merry... Mer uh, we, let, oh, that's fine. Let's do Happy Holidays. Okay. One, two, three. Happy, Happy holidays. holidays. We hope, hope your, your day, day is, is blooming, blooming with joy. joy. Bye. Bye. Thanks for spending your time with us. We hope you have a great holiday. Bye. We hope your day is blooming with joy.